thousands of you asked me to see Venice in the League of Cambrai, which is actually one of the starting dates in U4. At first I thought it's gonna be super easy, looking that it's only Austrian France, but this is Austrian France on U1.33 patch, where AI is far more aggressive. Just before we start, remember to subscribe to this channel because we are on the way to hit 100,000 subscribers. At first I was like, ah, it's only Austrian France compared to the whole League of Cambrai, but when I'm looking <laughs> at these numbers, it's not that good. I have 26,000 of my own troops, that's the first limit, versus over 130k of troops of Austria and France, and they will recruit more very early into the game. So just for you to understand the background, League of Cambrai was a coalition, or how you say it in U4, a gang against Venice, organized by actually Pope, France, Austria, Castile, Hungary, and some other nations of the HRE. A huge gang that was pretty much unstoppable at first. And the funniest part of this gang is that the reason for it, why the League of Cambria was created, it was created to stop Ottomans and push them back from Europe. So of course, to achieve this goal, they had to destroy the greedy state of Venice first. As France is my main enemy in this war, I will focus on separate pissing Austria first. This is because they have half of the army of this conflict, but they also have 77 for sleep, so quickly they will start building more. We need to get rid of them, and to get rid of them, we only need to get Unterkarten, Vienne, and some carpets. Each. I will start with slackening recruitment, focus on mill, and we are gonna recruit Max. Independent company for 14,000 troops that we really need to push them back. And this little stack of 4,000 for a better leader, which is free, free. Then I'll right away start engaging on guards with my best leader, and this guy is coming to reinforce. With my ships, I'll keep the galleys to blockade the port here, while the trade ships are gonna start protecting the trade in Venice. Our economy will have to suffer a lot but we have to go all in over here to achieve our goals. What will be crucial in this battle is first of all rolls, second of all they don't have a general, but one is coming from the second stack in Vienne. I'm also gonna reinforce with this 4000 once the month thing goes, on the 3rd of January, yeah, that goes 18,000. Now it's gonna be all about the rolls, and I'm waiting for reinforcement with this 14,000. Because ideally, we would like to reinforce after another month thing, but I don't think I'm gonna stand here for one month. We just got a cheaper discipline advisor, that's gonna be very useful to win this unwinnable battles, we just need more money, and I can't change him until 10th of January, so in two days. One, two, that's gonna help us win the freaking battle. And I don't think I'm gonna stand here until the month tick. So I'm gonna start reinforcing with these guys already. And that should be just enough to win this battle, come on. Hold your ground. There we go, that's 13% of the war score. <sighs> we need to get rid of these Austrians. Anyway, they still have far more troops, so I'm gonna get another mark stack, which is gonna be the not free company. Let's go for the grand company. We have to go all in over here. I can take 60 loans. Actually, I'll go for the Swiss guard as well, because they have four siege general. To make the sieges also fast, I build spy network on both France and Austria. And of course, we got excommunicated. By the way, historically, when the war the League of Kempre started, Venetian diplomat went to Pope asking to join his side in exchange for money. What happened? Pope just excommunicated him. And now you're losing 80 ducats monthly. <sighs> As France is getting us from the Italy, I'm gonna get the defensive edict over there. Oh, Imperial Sperano, that's something that we really need to destroy them. Screw it, I'm going all in. I'm taking all of my 50k troops into Unterkanten, so those guys will not think about attacking us. Remember, AI is far more aggressive on this patch. So I'm just gonna bridge the walls, and right now can't... Oh, no, 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 do not take over. We need the guys over here to take over, they have morale of armies. With Unterkanten down, how much worse can Austria have? Just 8%, but you can see it's very close to actually get them out of this war. You know, it wasn't too easy, so also Ottomans warned us. <laughs> you know, France is just casually going for the fort. They don't care that they're supporter, they just go north straight to Vienna and kill me there. I'm not even joking. Like, they really are coming after me over here. Like. Why? At least when I scorch it, I think we should be able to win them. I just need to reinforce with a better leader. In Vienna, I need to bridge the walls and I need to reinforce 
the main battle of these boys. Okay, that was easy. Unfortunately, we don't, did not get that much worse card of it. Let me go and focus again on getting Vienna. With Vienna down, we have 21% of score on Austria. But to actually take anything, I'd like to take money or something. We need to car perceive them a little bit more, so let me go around and do so. Screw it, all I can take is 8% of the war score in money. But that's something that we really have to do at this point. Peace out Austria, bye bye. Now the amount of the troops is far better. They don't have that much of an advantage, but we are out of manpower. So I'm just gonna go and consolidate all of my troops so I can go and defend Brescia right now before they siege it down. Look, they're running away without even trying. Can I wipe this 8,000 in Treviso? Overstock with everything. I can't even wipe them. This is fine. Most interesting part is that we have 14% of the world score from winning battles and we have the war goal, which is Verona. We pretty much ooh, only have to defend. So now I'll be mostly focusing on fighting with my Merc troops. My Empire troops will be slowly recovering. Just consolidate to make sure that happens. <laughs> recovering, you're saying? I need to save the Swiss Guard from absolutely getting killed over a year. Oh no. Okay, okay, it's good. Why they came around? Just run away. Three wars gone. From this, I'll probably get now the same wars gone. And they're running away next by, so it's actually worth it. You go reoccupy this province, you boys go to Treviso to make sure it's scorched. I know where this second stack is, so I'm gonna take a risk over here. Let me go and engage with the Mercs. Let's see how this battle goes. They still have far more Mura than us, but it's not that bad. I'll start reinforcing with this boy slowly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. Let's see, because they might be running away somewhere next by now. They are running away back to France. Instead of taking against expansion for those, I prefer to build Spy Network on Mantua and Ferrara and get provinces where I actually get some money out of. So let me send this peace deal. <sighs> this allows me to embrace the institution, but it's spreading... Uh... It's spreading in the country why we don't really need this for the technology. So I'm gonna simply go and repay a big chunk of our loans. This is just really weird how this, uh, this is working right now. Then I'm gonna take my manpower troops out of this and I'm gonna delete all the mercs. This way, when I turn off my armies, when I turn off my force, we have six of balance. So by the way, the strategy that you used over here wasn't as good as Venetian in the War of the League of Cambrai, because over there, the sides kept switching. Because at first, Pope and France got in the conflict, so Pope left the war and he joined the side of Venice. Oh, let me go take three, four, six ruler. Then they managed to drive France out of the Italy. Oh, Poland wants alliance. But then, there was a friction inside the alliance, and actually Venice switched sides to join France. So they ended up being on the France side against HRE and the rest. But anyway, this war was just one big chaotic political chessboard. So at the end, they only decided, okay, we're going back to the status quo. Stop excommunicating me. I'm, I'm just screwed over here because they announced me as their rival. And I can't really do anything with that. At least from time to time, I can stop this by just changing the ruler, but... I want to keep this one actually. I completely forgot there's a mission tree for Venice. So if you get 25% trade point Ragusa, I'm gonna get Diplo points in American trees. So I just send my ships to Ragusa. And that should be not yet enough. We need 5% more trade power here. I'll take care of that by building a flagship that was giving us trade power per ship in the fleet, flagship cannons, and fleet morale. That's gonna be a light ship. Stratioti, after the fall of Constantinople, a large amount of Greek and Albanian soldiers joined the cause of the Venetian Republic to fight against the Ottomans. That's army tradition, manpower that they really need, and a lot of manpower development. Ah, the first guarantee for is gonna be the tax med... Ah, that's the wrong type of the government. You can get random candidate bonus or yearly Republican tradition. Take the yearly Republican tradition. Monopolize the Adriatic trade. Thank you so much. We needed these power points. They took the same troops as me, but if I win the battle in Ferrara, which I should because Florence is one tech behind, when I win it, I should just run them down to Earth and wipe them in this province or maybe into battles. That's number one. Yeah, that's gonna be a wipe. Oh no, Naxos wipe them. Why you didn't let me wipe? Uh, unfortunate. Are you freaking serious? According to game, 
Half of the development occupied in staying in the capital, it's 3% of the world's cost. Are you freaking serious? I'm not gonna waste time on that. Swipe piece them. And flee an Ferrara, which is some of expansion, but not that much. And of course, money to keep repaying the loans. That gives me another mission, which is for Mercs. Might be useful if it's just maybe another warrior of France. Good night, Mr. Mantua. It's your time to shine under my control. Bye. Yay, the stupid controller, which is not the Papal State. Well, it's France, so they're gonna also ex excommunicate me at first occasion. Pop, pop, pop. We need Urbino to fix the borders and get the trade center, as well as war operations, pillage capital, so we'll get more development in Venice, and of course, full money. We wanted to pillage capital because we need one more development to get this mission over here and start the golden oh, era. Oh no! Anyway. anyway, let me go and peace out now. Mantua to get the borders even more beautiful. Now, some nations should be able to join the coalition, even France, but we have two years of truth with them, so it doesn't matter. That allowed me to become a great power. I did not expect that, honestly. That's a surprise, but a welcome one. Now we are warned by both France and the other ones. That's the income. We are paying only 1.4 ducats for individuals because we are left with five loans. Well, I wasn't great power for long. Bohemia overtook me already. Well, in our case, Building marines is actually worth it because I'm getting more <laughs> monthly sailors with actual manpower. Indeed, if you win such a gangbang that we got from France and Austria, it deserves a golden era. That's how you're earning money in the freaking Italy. About that, this is the last loan from the first war that I'm repaying. I don't think that's gonna be much of a difference, but Venetian trade gives ship trade power plus 50%. It's super strong, but I think it's too early for me to take that much of advantage out of it. It's 17.7, .7, and after a month, think that 18.3, so it's actually awesome. So, let me go and peace out Florence. I'm gonna take full money, war operations, and pillage their capital, which is also some of its expansion, but it doesn't hurt us. At all. What if I send my ships to Alexandra instead of Ragusa? That is actually half of income more. And honestly, we could even mix our ships to take advantage of both of the nodes. I'm gonna send all of my ships except the flagship to protect in Ragusa, and all the other ships will stay in Alexandria and protect the trade over here. This is because I have a flagship that is giving me ship trade power per fleet. I was actually thinking about getting ready to go on a revenge on Austria. But the Ottomans helped me with getting some content of for you at the end of this video. We're gonna clap the asses. Of course, Poland is gonna help us with Lithuanian Union, so that's great news. And Ottomans are up to date on the deck, so that's not that useful. They have 72,000 troops. Please, our army quality is slightly better, but there's not that big of a difference. To fight them, I'll take one loan and recruit our favorite Grand Company. Let me take them in Istria. We do not have any army professionals, it's gonna be interesting, let's go. Ah, I should also get all of my fleet into one place, just to be sure it's not gonna get devastated by the Ottomans. Well, I think here I'm devastating them with my trade- Oh, crusade bonus, but here I'm losing in the second battle, this one, where I have the galleys. Yeah, this one I have to run away to Treviso. Ooh, we've lost five galleys, that wasn't worth it. <gasps> Do you see this? They're gonna have all of the armies in one place. We just have to get the naval advantage and trap them in Naxos. And we need to do it quick, because what I have to do here is not only trap them in Naxos, I also have to get Athens and occupy it before they get this province. Really big fingers crossed they're not gonna get this for 20%. This guy is gonna be a key moment. They got Naxos, but I'm gonna occupy this province before they cross. So no, 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 just stay over there. But I need to take all of these guys ASAP to Athens to win the battle with the Ottomans here. And they're gonna arrive on 14th of January. They're gonna siege this down uh, too fast. See, 13 days. I'll be there in 5 days, okay. They will siege this down on 12th of January. These guys will be there on 14th of January. So that's not bad. We have to go and risk this. If they take this, they cross. So we need to start. Oh, yes. We won navally. We won Navy, that was the key. Yes, now I could reinforce with my ships. <laughs> Go for more troops. And then I will reinforce with these guys as well. After the math, think so. Yes, yes, goodbye, Mr. Ottomans. Stay in Axons. Be nice. 
don't move anywhere. These Ottomans, they told us that 1.33 AI is gonna be smarter, right? These Ottomans seems that they are not learning from their mistakes. 57,000 in Naxos, 16,000 in Cephalonia. So pretty much the whole army will be trapped in different islands because they will be left with this 9,000. So Poland, go and do your job. Their last, this 9k stack ran away to Anatolia. So European part of the Ottomans is free air state. So maybe that's why League of Cambrai wasn't successful because it's supposed to be Venice destroying them to destroy the Ottomans later, like I'm doing right now. You know, I'm not only trapping them this island, they're also dying from Ottomans. Already 50,000 troops that they've lost, and they had to kill them in Cephalonia because that's the war goals. I prefer to start getting wars go for that. Okay, I think Ottomans got absolutely destroyed. How much they lost to Ottomans after all? 60,000. I did not have to fight much mainly on the navy. I'm gonna take all of those provinces to connect all of my possessions around here. I'm gonna take full money and war reparations. I'm so sorry, Poland. Not gonna give you anything. Sick. This is no coalition. I can grade projects can be upgraded. Nice, but I don't need to upgrade anything. Let me repay all of my loans. I love it. And start calling the provinces. There's one tiny thing to finish this campaign in a perfect way. Yes, this is conquest of Herzegovina because they are blocking me from uniting our country. So let me just go and declare this beautiful war. You go there, you go there, you go to Mordavia. I don't have a way to get there. I think I could get there through Hungary. No, because Austria hates me. You know what? Screw Moldavia. I'm just gonna take this tiny province of Ragusa. I don't need anything more. Take money, take work reparations. And we are done. This Venice is absolutely safe. Just take a look at this. 51 of income, 44 instead of 26. We defeated France, we defeated Austria, and we defeated, most importantly, the Ottomans. So guys, as well as if you enjoyed this type of video, so saving historically in the campaigns, remember to leave a like on this video, tell me in comments what I should do next, and remember to subscribe to the channel to get notified about the new videos.